man. <laughs> I really need to get my whole recording thing down. Because <laughs> I just whacked this gobbler and it was a glorious, glorious setup. Not bad. That's like a eight inch beer. Way to start off the season, man. Oh my God. I walked into this spot this uh, yesterday morning. There's usually always turkeys here. And uh, I'm like, I'll, I'll, I'll walk. It's like two miles down in here. So I walked down in here. Calm down, it calm down. You're dead already, calm down. Right? So I walked down in here. And uh, on them uh so i walked down in here and there was two good gobbler tracks um in the snow from a couple days prior so i sat for a couple of hours and i called um hoping they'd come in they never came in i sat till like 11 and it's as long as i can sit i was like dude i'm gone so i went and i looked around for some, for some more turkeys yesterday C didn't find any so I thought, well, I'll come back in here tomorrow and maybe see if these, these turkeys are still in here. So I'm on my way in, right? And these turkeys set up probably, they roosted 50 yards from where I sat and called. Yesterday, I was calling from right, that cedar tree right there. They're 50 yards away, and I heard them gobble twice in the roost. So I, if I had been 10 minutes earlier, I would have sat up, you know, not 10 minutes. If I was like a... A little bit earlier, I would have sat up right underneath him. So I waited for him to fly down. He flew actually up to the bottom side of this little bit of a ridge right here. I'm like, well, I'll go back in. To, I'll just walk right into where I sat yesterday because it's such a great spot. And I'll uh, sit down and call. So I walked in here, sat down and call. Didn't hear him at all for probably 45 minutes. And then he gobbled. And I'm like, ooh. So immediately I called to him. Uh, and then probably five minutes later, he gobbled again. He was closer. I was like, oh yeah, it's done. He's, he's, she's, he's killed. So he came over this little bit of a berm right here, this little bit of a ridge. He flew to the other side of that this morning. He came over that and I saw his, his beard sticking out. And I'm like, I don't know how big that is. It's good enough. Eight inches. If it's like, if it's, if I can see, if he, if he goes to peck, right this, and it's down here and it's, and it's flopping a little bit, I'm going to shoot him. So I'm stoked, dude. I'm fucking stoked. I'm so stoked. Whoo! In this crappy weather, I'll take it. All right, I'm out of here. Later. Nice part about killing a bird first thing in the morning when it was cold last night is uh, snow still froze. So two mile pack out is not going to be too bad. Hunting's a funny thing. Like, I did what eight and a half miles day before yesterday scouting. I think I did six and a half yesterday hunting around. And then I woke up this morning, my alarm went off. I laid in bed for like an extra 20 minutes. I'm like, ah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go. Uh, and then I literally said to myself, don't be a bitch. Get the fuck up. Go hunting. You're not going to kill a bird. Sit at home. Doesn't matter if the weather sucks. Doesn't matter if. You're tired, which I was sleepy, but it's like, dude, get up and go. You can't kill a turkey at home. The weather is not great. It's windy as f fudge, but it's sunny. I'm like, you know what? The hourly shows that it's only supposed to maybe snow or rain at like 11 and then again at like 4. Might as well go. I went. I came. Kill a turkey. 